In this video, we are going to discuss about linearly independent vectors in R2. So now what we will do is we will take two vectors uh, V1 bar and V2 bar to be two vectors in R2. And we will write a definition of what is meant by the linear independence of these two vectors in R2. So if the combination C1 V1 bar plus C2 V2 bar is equal to zero, and if this implies that c1 and c2 both are zero then we say that the two vectors v1 bar and v2 bar are linearly independent so let us take one simple example uh, suppose i write the two vectors v1 bar is suppose i am taking 2 comma 3 and the second vector v2 bar i am going to take say 3 comma 2 these two vectors are vectors in R2 and I'm going to show that these two vectors V1 bar and V2 bar the set V1 bar V2 bar which I'm going to call S is a linearly independent set means the two vectors inside this set S are linearly independent vectors in R2 so how am I going to show, show that so I will consider C1 V1 bar plus C2 V2 bar and I will equate it to 0 and I will try to substitute the values V1 bar is 2 comma 3 plus C2 V2 bar is 3 comma 2 and that is equal to 0 bar this is a vector 0 bar and this gives me 2 C1 comma 3 C1 plus 3 C2 plus 2 C sorry comma 2 C2 is equal to 0 so that will give me 2 c1 plus 3 c2 comma 3 c1 plus 2 c2 is 0 comma 0 and if i get two equations the first equation is 2 c1 plus 3 c2 is 0 and second equation is 3 c1 plus 2 c2 is also equal to 0 when we solve them simultaneously we will get c1 is also equal to 0 and c2 is also equal to 0 this means that the set s that we were talking about s was the first vector was 2 comma 3 and the second vector was 3 comma 2 this set is a linearly independent set in the set r2 so when we plot the two vectors in the in the space r2 the first vector which is 2 comma 3 and the second vector is 3 comma 2 we see that the first vector is u bar and the second vector is v bar we understand that these two vectors uh, turn out to be linearly independent in r2 because both of them have different directions it does not mean that the second vector can be the opposite of the first vector that is not allowed so these two vectors will have different directions is somewhat a geometrical meaning of the two vectors being linearly independent so now what we will do is we will consider only one vector which is u bar equal to 2 comma 3 and we will uh, try to multiply this vector u by a scalar i'm going to call that scalar a which is a real number and i'm going to look at all such possibilities a u bar which is a times 2 comma 3 where this a is going to be a real number so this is nothing but scalar multiplication in the vector space so let us see how does the scalar multiplication can be geometrically visualized now as you can see in the figure the vector u is 2 comma 3 now what we will do is we will multiply this vector by 2 so that I will get the vector 4 comma 6 so when I join that vector you will see that this w vector is the vector 4 comma 6 you can even multiply this vector u by minus 1 so when I multiply it by minus 1 I will get minus 2 minus 3 which is a point in the third quadrant when I join that I will get this vector so this vector is this minus 2 minus 3 is a scalar multiple of the vector u so that is minus 1 times the vector 2 comma 3 
I can even multiply the vector u bar by minus 2. So when I multiply by minus 2, I will get minus 4, minus 6. So this is that vector, which is uh, minus 4, comma, minus 6. This is the vector, right? So now uh, it means that when I take all the scalar multiples uh, of that vector 2, comma, 3, it is understood that all these vectors lie on this particular line. And the equation of that line is 3x minus 2y is equal to 0. And all the points on this vector space, I'm sorry, on the all the points on this line are uh, basically nothing but the scalar multiples of the point 2, comma, 3. You can now see the point varying on that line. When I multiply it by scalar, a real number, that point starts varying on this particular line. So this is nothing but the span of that vector u. You can see that the point is moving on the line. This the scalar is a real number, so it will continuously vary from minus infinity to plus infinity. And accordingly, the point will move on the line and the equation of that line is 3x minus 2y is equal to 0. So this 3x minus 2y line equal to 0 is this line is nothing but the span of the vector u 2 comma 3.